Are you Bob, familiar you with Malheur and the incident that went down there at all, Dylan? Uh, yeah. So um, a lot of those patriots that were out there and LaVoy Finnicum, the man that got killed with Oregon State um, police involvement, they were fighting for a lot of the same things that Antifa is. Overreach, police overreach, bad policing, um, things like that. The same things that Antifa claims to be out on the street. But I just want to make really clear now to everybody out there that thinks, you know, that is a sycophant for the police. I, I get what you're saying, but yes, there are good police. But right now, everybody in this country has to choose what side they're on. And those same patriots that took over Malheur for the same reasons that Antifa got to take over Portland for eight or nine months, one of them was shot by Oregon State Police for, for fighting for those same values. This is a video about the fight for freedom and the paradigm keeping us trapped in voluntary slavery to the ruling class. On December 21st, 2020, people in fear of losing what little freedom they have remaining gathered at the state capitol building in Salem, Oregon. Their goal? To gain entrance to the building and have their voices heard during a rare in-person appearance by legislators during this period known as the Great Reset. These people came ready for a struggle with the ruling class and their legions of order followers. And a struggle there was. As usual, the violent aggressors of the ruling class won the day with their overwhelming show of and use of force and barred entry to any meaningful part of the capital. The American Police State, brought to you by questionable authority. Your freedom is an illusion. But they have closed in the Constitution, we have the right to be here. Yeah, 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 yeah
This is our building! This is our building! We need to calm down and be organized so that we can address the situation. We need to calm down and be organized so we can address the situation. Why won't you let We need to calm down and be organized. Officers, it is our understanding that we have the right to be in this meeting. Why are you disobeying our constitutional right to meet in this building? Why are you disobeying your oath? Why are you disobeying your oath? We have a constitutional right to be in this building today. The people have the right to be in this building. The people have a right to witness this meeting. Why are you guys disobeying your oath? Why are you disobeying your oath? As you heard in the beginning of this video, it's time to pick a side. I'm not talking political sides. I'm talking right and wrong. Get rid of all the noise and boil it down to who is the aggressor and who is the nonviolent victim. Now some will say the crowd was the aggressor. Were they not nonviolent when they showed up to do what they say the words on paper they follow allow them to do? Do they not have resources taken from them against their will in the form of taxes from the people in these buildings? We are aggressed upon daily by all the enforcement officers out and about hoping to generate some revenue for the state by catching us violating any of the literally thousands of statutes they enforce. Was it not the order followers of the ruling class that used force to keep these nonviolent people from doing something they were allowed to do? That oath you heard them yelling about. They believe the corporate policy enforcers supposedly take an oath to uphold the Constitution, the aforementioned words on paper. Here's the thing with that oath and allowing words on paper to give other people the idea they have a higher claim to your life and property than you do. Over time, new people write different words on paper and they put them in the same stack as the other ones. Again, we'll call that the Constitution. Then these people say it's now part of the Constitution. What we have now is words on paper added to that stack declaring an emergency. All of the normal words on paper can be ignored because of the new emergency words. I say and mean the term corporate policy enforcers when I refer to law enforcement. Watch as they uphold the new corporate policy over their oath to the Constitution or words on paper these people are referring to. Riot police are here. Riot police. I can't tell. <laughs> I might be uninformed, you guys. I might be ignorant. But as far as I understand, the people have a right to be in this meeting today. They have been legally made it a closed session to where the public cannot come in and watch. <laughs> I might be uninformed, you guys. I might be ignorant. But as far as I understand, the people have a right to be in this meeting today. They have been legally made it a closed session to where the public cannot come in and watch. And a lot of people... I'm more mad about this. These cops are disobeying their uh, constitutional oath. They are obeying the order of the state and the power of the politicians rather than the power of the people. They are shooting pepper balls like crazy right now. It's hard to breathe. So it might be, it might be a Patriots macing the cops. I'm not sure. I can't tell where it's coming from. You guys took an oath! You guys took an oath! 
We have, we're supposed to be allowed to be in this building. We are supposed to be allowed to be in this building. What are you saying? What do you stand for? What do you stand for? What do you stand for? You, you are supposed to, you are supposed to protect our rights, our rights. The rights of the people! The rights of the people! The rights of the people! We the people! What are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you doing this? You are supposed to uphold our rights! You are supposed to uphold the Constitution! You are supposed to uphold your own! Why are you doing this? Stand down! Stand down! Fair me! Fair me! Fair me! Fuck you! Fuck the police! Fuck the police! You are betraying your own! You are betraying your own! You're betraying your own! You're betraying your own! You are 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 betraying your own! I don't use terms like words on paper to get people angry. I use them because that's the reality of the situation. Things in this world are quickly getting to a boiling point and we need to have a firm grasp on reality. If you think law enforcement are in general good and around to protect the people and our freedom, Please pay attention to who is protecting the privileges of the few rather than the rights of the people. Anyone willing to stand against the new normal and the level of collaboration it requires will be ostracized from the economy and doomed to fail if they stay within it. Those who are able to survive will do so because they have done what the predator class requires of them under the watchful eyes of the technocratic state enforced by these traitors to their neighbors. The men and women of the Blue Line Gang are bribed, then programmed to keep us in servitude with their ruthless enforcement of victimless corporate policy. We are trained to think their enforcement of law and order is what somehow preserves our freedom. The next scene is why I decided to make this video. This is Kelly Stewart, an inspiring activist fighting for the freedom of the people over their government. She was disgusted with the behavior of the policy enforcers who took an oath to uphold the constitution she loves. She, like so many others, has grown very disgusted over the years of her activism. And in an effort to open the eyes of some of these patriots, she decided to burn a blue line flag to display her disgust with them. What happened next at a rally full of people supposedly assembled to use their right to peacefully speak their resistance left me very emotional to say the least. Two women trying to use their freedom to display some speech of their own were attacked and their property taken from them. This is what I mean by being too plugged into the system. These silly men are so wrapped up in their cult of personality they don't even see their ignorance or lack of self-ownership. The cult they follow has convinced them it's okay to treat people who don't think like them in this way. I'll say it again. If your fight is in the name of freedom, it's time to pick a side. You're either with the people or the state. Hey, knock it off. You're a fucking hey. Hey, 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 You just assaulted her. Get the fuck out. That is my property. Get out of here. That is what? That is not an American flag. That is not an American flag. That's a flag of tyrant tyranny. That's my property. That's my property. That can't, that, that fucking can't. Get it to the house. Stop! Stop! Stay away, Ben. Stay away. Stop! Leave him alone. 
Get off that. 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 Get off on January 11th, the Washington State Legislature will be holding an in-person session in Olympia. Kelly, the woman you just saw, has asked law enforcement to do the right thing and allow the people entry to the building. If they don't, she has called on others to join her in burning their own blue line flags at 11 a.m. After seeing these videos of what happened to her and how angry these particular cult followers were over speech, and someone exercising their freedom. I told Kelly I would be there to support her and do what I could to defend her act of freedom. I will be there, and if I can, with the blue line flag of my own to burn. At the same time, I will be talking to anyone willing to exchange ideas peacefully about setting up and being part of an economy outside the one run by the central banking cartel. One that allows everyone to participate, as long as you're not hurting anyone else or defrauding anyone else. The first businesses being attacked are the ones we typically gather in and socialize. The ruling class wants this behavior eliminated, and it's easier to take away licenses than what words on paper recognize as rights. We must work hard in establishing an underground railroad of sorts. Networks of people willing to embrace freedom and all it entails need to be created and ready to stand strong against the evil carried out by a small gang of criminals calling themselves government. Join me and others in the greater reset. I'm officially a fuck the police guy now. Thank you for supporting my work. Independent thought and journalism are under attack. If you want to fight censorship and promote independent thinking and freedom, we need your support. It's not just me. All truth-minded content creators are getting pushed off of the most popular and censorship-loving social media platforms. You can support me by making a donation of cryptocurrency. I have multiple wallets listed in the description of every video. If you still love your international bankster's fiat currency, I have links to PayPal, Venmo, and Cash App listed as well. If you're unable to donate in that fashion, Consider signing up for Library, 3Speak, Hive, Steemit, DTube, or Mines using the links below and earn some crypto for yourself and me by using my affiliate links. Then, you and I can both be earning decentralized cryptocurrency for you simply watching and interacting with my content.